Hey, I'm Roland with Mobile Geeks and we're still at the ASUS event in Berlin, Germany for IFA 2013. And what we have right here is the new ASUS PhonePad 7. So the name doesn't change, but ASUS is actually releasing a new version of its 7-inch smartphone tablet. So this is not only a 7-inch tablet, but it's also a smartphone. So basically you can call people with it, which looks something like this. I know it's kind of stupid, but if you look at devices like the um, Sony Xperia Z uh, Ultra Z, um, this is 6.44 inches and this is a 7 inch device from Asus right here. And if you compare them, the size difference isn't that much anymore. Um, but let's get back to the phone pad. So it's a cheap tablet and a smartphone. They're pricing it just around the same price point as the old one. They couldn't tell us the exact pricing, but they said it's basically similar pricing. Um, there's still an Intel CPU in there. It's a dual core 1.6 gigahertz Intel Atom Z2560. So it's an x86 CPU. It's running Android 4.2.2. And let's just look at the phone menu for a second. So there you go. You can actually call people with this. Um, the display is is actually 1280 by 800 resolution. It's an IPS panel, so the viewing angles are pretty much decent. Um, the brightness is totally fine, and yeah, resolu resolution is nice. There's a couple of design changes on this compared to the old 7-inch model. They actually put the speakers on the front, like on some uh, Samsung tablets, and on the back you have this glossy finish now, so it's really attracting a lot of fingerprints right here, but they probably switched from the metal back to this plastic casing to reduce costs but now standardized is the webcam up here that's a five megapixel webcam and with the old model they had some versions in a couple of countries that were shipping without a camera but now on the new phone pad 7 it's standard on all models um, let's take a quick look around we have a 720p webcam up here and a brightness sensor the speakers as i said on the top and on the bottom and up the, on the top of the device you only have the headset jack on the left, we have the SIM card slot for the 3G and phone module. On the bottom, there's a microphone and a micro USB port. And on the right, you have a micro SD card slot for memory extension and the volume rocker and the power button. Um, Asus is using Android 4.2.2, as we said, but there's only a couple of modifications. So they're pretty much using a standard Android, but they're doing some uh, modifications on the settings menu and they have their own power saving mode on this. Another difference is down here. Those are the mini apps where you can actually drag in those kind of widget style uh, applications. So you can do quick calculations or look for something on the web while actually doing other stuff like surf, uh, looking at a video or whatever. And you have a count on a stopwatch, a compass, um, a calculator, a dictionary, and a couple of other tiny apps. Um, this is the new Asus PhonePad 7 just coming out after Ethan next couple of weeks and I was rolling with Mobile Geeks. See you later.